Hello, my name is Tony Gunn and I am a technical advisor here at Air Turbine Tools and I'm going to walk you through how to set up your airline, your hoses, and your spindles in your newly purchased product from us. First off, you want to start with a clean, dry airline that runs as close as possible directly into your filter. As you can see right here. Make sure your filter is off at the moment. We will actually ship it to you in the off position, but just double check. As the air goes in through the side, you'll see that it'll be sealed off with no PSIs whatsoever. You're then going to take one of our hoses, and I highly recommend an on-off switch to the air. Plug it directly into the filter. Take your block that we provide for you, Connect that to one end of the hose and connect the other end into your switch. Again, make sure this switch is off for now. As we come to the front, we're going to install your new block on your spindle head of your machine. For me, my screw holes are already there. Some Haas have the holes there and some you need to machine yourself. Uh, other machines also vary a little, so you may want to check out with your manufacturer or with customer service here at Air Turbine Technology. When installing your new block, make sure you tighten it all the way, then give it a little, make it a little bit loose so it can have some play. We're going to need that adjustment when we're installing the spindle. Now we're going to open up our valve on our filter. Make sure your switch is still turned off. You want to be above 90 PSI's. If you can get above that, even better. I like to have mine around 100. There are three major components that you want to remember when installing your spindle. One, you want to make sure the teeth are lined up evenly with the drive dogs. You want to make sure your rotating collar is lined up with the inlet to the block. And three, you want to make sure your nozzle is turned all the way down for the first time you use it. Make sure that these two grooves lined up with these two teeth in the zero point when you orient the spindle. Also want to make sure the nozzle is lined up with the block. This is incorrect. Make sure all three components are lined up, then insert the spindle. You can see how this is still a little loose. We now know exactly where we want to be and we can lock down the screws. Now you can turn on your spindle air and align your spindle with the right amount of height on the nozzle. Right now you can hear a lot of air leaking right here. What we're going to do is raise this nozzle up until the air is sealed off. The only air leaking out now comes through the exhaust as it's supposed to. And you can hear the spindle running very quietly, 40,000 RPMs. Now you have a fully automated air turbine spindle in your CNC machine. For more information, please contact us at 561-994-0500. You can also find us at the website www.airturbinetools.com.